everyone and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So I have been keeping a very big secret. So I am actually moving. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that two years ago I moved here to Fort Wayne, Indiana from my hometown in Pennsylvania. Now this move isn't going to be as extravagant. It's not long distance. I'm actually just moving across town into a sweet little cottage that I had found. But the good thing is it's bigger than my current house. So if you've, I've done a few, I guess I've done, I haven't done a full house tour here in my current home, but if you've seen some videos and you've heard me talk about it, you've probably heard me say that it is smaller and I'm having storage issues. So the good thing about the new house is it's a two car garage and there's a full basement that's not livable area. So there's tons of space that I can utilize for my small business and my holiday decor that's not in use. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to get in there and start decorating. I'm gonna go full fledged for Yule since I wasn't able to decorate for Halloween and fall, which was my favorite season. So yeah, super excited about this. So during this video, we'll just be doing a little bit of packing and then stay tuned because I'm also going to be posting an empty house tour so you all will be able to see the inside of the new cottage. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get some packing done. Look at these puppers, aren't them cute? Is them excited to move? Is them excited to move? So if you followed my storm damage saga, this might look a little familiar other than instead of furniture up here, there's boxes now. So back in July, early July, our basement here at this house had flooded. We had to carry everything upstairs. So since then I had rented a pod and all that furniture is out in the pod and is now at the new house. And I've slowly been packing these boxes behind the scenes here. So now I just have a little bit more to do. I have some bigger items that can, can't fit in boxes. So I'll just have to take them over in my car, but I still have some decor up there. And then I also have to pack my gallery wall down here. So let me go down here and I'll show it to you. So this is my gallery wall. So I'm gonna be packing that up today. Now the bigger one probably won't fit in a box, but I will just put that in my car. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this packed. Good morning, it is moving day and we are up before the chickens. I'm in the car, I had to turn the light on so you could see me cause it's still dark out. But we are getting ready to go get the U-Haul. I got the biggest one, I think it's a 26 footer. So hopefully since 
Some of the stuff is already in the pod and over at the house. The 26 footer will be big enough to house everything. Now, when we were coming here from Pennsylvania, we had to get two trucks and that still wasn't big enough, but I had a lot bigger house then. So I think it'll all fit, but let's go ahead and go get it and we'll start loading the truck. But first we made a pit stop at Duncan to get everybody donuts for helping. So I ended up getting 18. Hopefully that'll be enough, but these look delicious. So we got those and then I also got these. It's just an assortment of 18. So now let's go get the truck. We got the U-Haul. Here it is. So let's take it back to the house and we'll start packing it. Here it comes. Let's see if he can back into the driveway. <laughs> Get on. Get on. Then to help keep the move organized, I bought some different colored masking tapes from Amazon and then I made a key with the color codes so I know which color is which room. And then I just tear off a little piece and put it on the corner of the box here. So for a quick glance at the box, I'll already know which room it goes to. So hopefully that'll keep things running smoothly. So we are about a quarter of the way done. We got all the boxes in so far and all of my bookshelves. So now we are just going to start loading the big furniture. So this is how it's looking. All we have left are the mattresses. So everything is definitely going to fit. It's starting to rain though. So we're gonna hurry up and get the mattresses in and then go to closing. And then we'll be going to the new house. So we just got the keys. It's, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably six something in the evening. We were supposed to close at four. It's been a complete quadri but i'll talk about that in a different video this is going to be the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching me pack <laughs> and load up the u-haul but thank you so much be sure to like this video and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye